Buongiorno signore, signore. No, no, Isabella, you must no, you must behave today. Uh, scusi, per favore, signore, signore. No, no, Isabella, we are not flying now. No, no, you behave. Oh my goodness, you're so ill behaved today. What is the matter with you? Oh my good, no, naughty girl. Ah, uh, you stay right there. Ah, pardon, she she very nervous today, but you know she have very good reason to be nervous. Per favore, mi amici, have you seen any other witches out here today? No, no bad witches. Oh, oh, bene, bene. Then we are safe here, Isabella. Oh, it's good, yes. Bene. Buon Natale, my friends. Buon Natale. Ah, oh, beautiful. Now, do you know what does this mean, Buon Natale? Good afternoon. It's very good guess. Yes, but what about the time of the year? Buon Natale. Merry Christmas. See, Merry Christmas. Yes. Andiamo. Yes, you come. I have a story for you. Huh? Ah, such a story. My name is La Befana. And I am a witch. Oh, but I am a very good witch. See, this is why I must to disguise myself because the bad witches, they tease me. Oh, not very nice, huh? But you know, my name, La Befana, mean gift giver. See, I am the gift giver in my country, in Italy. So if you have been very, very good, I bring toys and goodies and sweets, yes? But if you have been maybe not so very good, what do you think I might bring you then, huh? Oh, oh, cool. oh everybody knows this, oh my goodness. <laughs> La Befana must keep an eye on everyone this year, huh? Oh my goodness. Now, in America, I know that you have a different gift giver, no? Yeah. Is this right? Who brings the toys at Christmas time? Santa. It's Santa, Santa Claus. See, well, I must tell you something. I have been bringing gifts down the chimneys of the Bambini a long time before old Saint Nick. He was a Bambino himself. Huh? <laughs> now, your Santa Claus, what does he fly upon? Hmm? Yes, he is on a sleigh. And what pulls the sleigh? <laughs> the reindeer, the magic reindeer. Well, that's very nice, huh? A sleigh, magic reindeer. Mm. Poor old La Befana does not have a sleigh. So what do you think La Befana might fly on, huh? Isabella? Yes, you think on the broom, on the broomstick. See, because I am a witch. Did I scare you? No, oh, that's okay. I am not a scary witch, no, no. But you get the socks and the underwear for Christmas, eh, that's pretty scary, huh? <laughs> now, your Santa Claus. When does Santa Claus come to visit you? Hmm? Yes, he's on the Christmas, on the Christmas Eve. See, do you know when La Befana come to visit you? Yes, ah, I wait a little while. After Christmas, I visit you on January the 5th. That is the eve of the Epiphany. And would you like to know why? Oh, good. Everybody say to me, oh, why La Befana? Oh, why La Befana? <laughs> I'm so glad you asked me. You know, there are many, many ways that my tale is told. But this, my special story. Hmm? Sand, and camel, and no running water. It was very inconvenient back then, yes? Oh, once upon a time, more than 2,000 years ago, Italia was an empire. 
Yes, much, much bigger than she is today. And this empire stretched all the way into what we call the Middle East. And me, I live in a lonely little house at the edge of the great road where all the caravans of camels pass all the time. I don't see too many camels these days, huh? One evening, I am sweeping in front of my little cottage because we did that then, you know, we would sweep outside, didn't have a whole lot going on, so, you know. But I see in the distance a group of travelers and they approach me on camel back. And so exotic, they are dressed like kings. And the men are dressed like kings, not the camels. <laughs> that would be odd. But they are from a very far away place. Oh, and they are so excited. They point this way and that way. So they speak with their hands. It's very good for me, yes? And the one word that they say, I remember. They say, Bethlehem. You've heard this word? Yes, it's good to know the Bethlehem after all the stories, but you know, way back then, I do not know what the Bethlehem is. Uh, love of fun. The big star that is up in the sky, it is there to tell us that a great king has been born in the Bethlehem. We are following the star to the young king. La Bafana has seen the star. It is why the sky is so bright these last few nights. Huh? And I was beginning to be a little bit irritated with it because it was keeping me awake at night. But I am so excited and so caught up in their story to find this young king that the travelers ask me to come along. Oh, for a moment I am filled with such a longing to follow the star. And then I think to myself, I think, yeah. I, what? Oh, love of fun, you pazzo, hmm? you're crazy. Camels, stars, strange men in the middle of the night. <laughs> that is never a good idea, huh? So, no, I'm sorry, La Bafana cannot come. So the travelers go off to Bethlehem without me. But I stand outside in the night for a while. I look up at the star and I wonder. A few days later, a young shepherd comes running into my village. He says to me, hey, La Bafana, how come you not go to the Bethlehem? Everybody is talking about the baby king that was born. Born in a poor little stable, but Befana, everybody is saying he is the son of God. And just then, the sky opened up, is filled with such beautiful light, La Befana cannot even look. Oh, it is as if the star of this little king is burst open into glory. And then the sound, oh, the sound of angels singing. <laughs> so many, many angels singing, oh, like nothing that I had ever heard before. And I know I must go to the Bethlehem. So I run into my little cottage to find a gift to find this special bambino, yes? I had seen the fancy gifts from all of the kings and I do not want to be empty handed So I look, oh, and I search, but all I can find are old scraps of wool. But I use the scraps to make a little doll. And she's better than nothing, huh? Oh, I'm so excited. I will go to the Bethlehem. I will see this young king. And I run outside to follow the star. And it is gone. The beautiful star is gone. La Befana waited too long. And now, what will I follow to find this young king? So from that moment, 
I begin to search for the Yesu Bambino, for the Christ child. And on the eve of the Epiphany, that is the day that the wise men come to Bethlehem, I climb down into the chimneys and I look into the faces of the children and I think to myself, what if it is you? Oh, what if you are the Christ child? And you know, when they're sleeping, you think it could be so, huh? And even though I have not yet found the Yesu Bambino, when I look into these beautiful faces, it reminds me of the miracle of that star. And so I leave a little gift. Maybe you are thinking, oh my, love of fun. This is a very sad story, no? No. That's so really. In Italia, Christmas time is a time of great celebration when we gather our family together, see? The grandmothers and the grandfathers and the aunts and the uncles and the cousins and we cook. Oh yes, <laughs> and we eat and we laugh and tell each other stories all around the table and the bambini, they get to play with all the presents that I bring and together we sing and we dance. Oh, it is molto bello, see? So, even though I do not yet find the Christ child, in bringing gifts, I find joy. Huh? Oh, but now I must to disguise myself once again because, you know, right around this time, oh, we usually see the bad witches and they come, they tease me. Huh? You know, maybe La Bafana, she should bring those bad witches a nice little present. We put a little coal in their sock, huh? Yes. <laughs> oh, I have so enjoyed sharing this story with you. And you know, in listening to me, you give La Befana, the gift giver, you give me a great gift. So, what do I care if some bad witches say about me? Do you think I should hide from them? No, oh no, I do not want to hide because you have given me courage to be true to myself, to follow my star. No, I do not want to hide. I want to spread only joy. So I leave you with a very special saying that we have in Italia. We say, Natale viene una volta all'anno. Chi non ne approfitta, tutto va a suo danno. And this means Christmas comes once a year. Whoever does not make the most of it, they're lost. Yeah? Grazie for spending some of your beautiful day with me. I wish you joy. Buon Natale! Oh, see your smile.